Hi, I'm Sarah Delaney with One Big Happy Yarn Company. But in this episode, we're gonna be making the cowl part of this set. Um, you will need to have yarn and needles and a whole bunch of other stuff. Why don't I tell you what that is so you can join us? You can pick up a kit at onebighappy.com uh, or at the link below in the description that contains the yarn and the pattern. Those kits will either contain two balls of Rowan Fine Tweed, which is a fantastic fluffy yarn with mohair and alpaca. It's very lofty, very light, super fuzzy and soft. Or uh, Cascade Cantata, which is an I-cord, which is basically a tube of a very fine cotton thread that then has merino wool threads blown into it. So both of these yarns have like a nice fuzzy halo to them, um, and they're a lot of fun to work with. Uh, you will also need size uh, six um, needles. Uh, that is the millimeter size on that is four millimeters. So US size six, four millimeter needles. Uh, for the cowl, you will need a 24 inch circular needle. Um, you will need scissors, you will need uh, stitch markers, you will need a tapestry needle. Um, and uh, that's about it. You'll be ready to go if you've got all of that together. All right, so why don't we hop into making the cowl? Um, for the cowl, and this is detailed in your pattern, you're gonna cast on half the number of stitches that you're gonna have in the cowl because we are actually gonna work two separate panels to begin and then join them in the round. So you can see there's a little bit of a split on the cowl and that's so that it splits over your shoulders and sits a little bit further down in the back and a little bit further down in the front than something that just goes all the way around and sort of sits here. This way you get a little bit more length inside the front of your coat and inside the back of your collar. I always like that because I always feel like there's cold little drafts that sneak in and this way you get to avoid that. So the pattern will tell you how many stitches to cast on and then you're gonna work in a garter stitch for a number of rows, again, detailed in your pattern. So you can see that I have a small sample here with those garter stitch rows. Then we're gonna hop right into our pattern. And in the first row, you're also gonna place, place stitch markers. This is gonna help you to demarcate where our um, crossed slip stitches happen, that almost cable looking stitch in the pattern. So we're gonna knit the first two stitches. And then we're gonna place a stitch marker because these two stitches are always gonna stay in garter stitch. And then we're gonna move into um, our crossed slip stitch section, which is two pearls, Ooh. four knits, and then two more pearls. If you've made the mittens with us, this will feel very familiar. Then I'm gonna put another stitch marker. And so this is one of the reasons that I love these locking stitch markers. I realized I really want this one to be a different color because it's the beginning of the row. So I'm gonna unlock it and take it out. And I'm gonna use a different color stitch marker and I'm just gonna put that around the needle between the stitches, lock it in place and we're good to go. All right, once we're into the middle section here, then it's just knit stitches until you get to the last 10 stitches. And then we're gonna place markers again because we'll have another crossed slip stitch section. Let me see, I've got two, four, six, eight, ten. Oh, that was good. All right, then purl two. Knit four, purl two, place another marker, and then these last two stitches stay in garter stitch, which means we knit every row. Now we're gonna flip this piece over and we're gonna work our way back. This will be new, um, a new way of working our crossed slip stitch sections uh, because in the mittens, we only worked in the round. So we knit those first two because this section is staying in garter stitch. We slip the marker and now, in order to keep this pattern in its pattern, we actually have to knit these two stitches. Then purl four, because we're on the wrong side of the work, which we never were with the mittens. We were always on the right side. And then we knit two more 
then we slip the next marker, and then we purl our way across the middle section. Um, so this is going to feel a little funky. But we only have to do this once. Because after this row, we're going to join to work in the round. Now, if you want, if you wanted a deeper split in this cowl, you could work that garter stitch section longer so that it's a little bit deeper before it joins to work in the round. And there is plenty of yardage to do that. The, the kits for this, it's two skeins or two balls and it makes both mittens and the cowl and there's a little bit of yarn left at the end. So you really could make a deeper split. All right, so you wanna get that section done and then you're gonna cut the yarn and you're gonna slide it to the back of your circular needle and then you're gonna cast on again and repeat this whole section. So go ahead and do that, get this section done, cut your yarn, cast on, do it again, and then join me back here when we join it together into the round. All right, so I finished both and, oh man. I, <laughs> so I'm sure you've noticed this nice little Nice little decorative washi tape on the table here. That's so that I can make sure that my hands are in the right place for the camera so you guys can always see what I'm doing. But it's so, it's like, it just makes me happy. It's just like a little pretty decoration on the table while I'm working. All right, so here I've got both of those sections and I'm ready to work my way back across. And clearly these two little samples that I made are not necessarily gonna go all the way around, but I'm gonna give you the idea. Um, we are gonna work backwards one more time and this is where we do the first row of our crossed slip stitches with all of the yarn overs. So there's our purl two, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one, purl two, and I'm gonna do that all the way across this section. And then I'm gonna move right into the next piece. So this is where we begin to connect them. And at the end of that second garter stitch piece, whoop, don't hop off of there, is where we will join to work in the round. So go ahead and work your way across. and join me back at the beginning of the next round. We'll be done with our rows. All right, so I've got my little cowl here, my little mini cowl, and I'm gonna use my circular needle like uh, magic loop style because it's too long for this, but your stitches will actually go all the way around the 24 inch circular needle. So I've added a second stitch marker here at the beginning just to differentiate both sides. So I remember that this is my beginning of round. So remember that we want to keep these first two stitches in garter stitch, but now we're going to be working in the round. So the last time around I knit those two, this time around I need to purl those two. And so that's going to be something you're going to have to keep in mind as we work in the round on this, is that every other round you are going to need Oh, I'm gonna take that out because I crisscrossed it. You're gonna to need to remember to switch knitting and purling these stitches between the stitch markers. Okay, now we are in our eight row section, our eight stitch section, where we, let me get those stitch markers out of the way, um, where we work our crossed slip stitches. There's our first yarn over. One, two, three, four. All right, now I'm gonna make those all long and leggy and tell you that they cross in opposite directions. So when you're looking at the front of the cowl, they cross outwards. So for this one, we need to cross 
to the right. So I slip them over to my left hand needle, lift it up and over, give it a little wiggle, slide it back on, and then knit those four. If you need a little more help with these crossed slip stitches, hop on back over to the first episode in, on the playlist as we spend a lot more time working on those stitches in the mittens. And you can watch that over and over again. Or you can slow this section down and watch it. I'm going to do this middle section, which is all stockinette. So the majority of the cowl is stockinette in these big center sections, which you can see here. This whole center section is just stockinette. I kind of did it that way because, I don't know, my brain is thinking about adding embroidery to a lot of knit stuff, and I kind of want to give myself some projects where that's something I can do in the future if I ever get to it. You ever have project dreams, how you would embellish stuff, and then you never get to it. It's okay. All right, so I'm dropping my yarn overs here, making sure they're nice and leggy, and then this one leans to the left. So up and over, give it a wiggle, slip these over to the left, and knit four. Oh, if you drop one, it's okay. Just pick it up and move forward. Pearl the last two. And then remember, this section needs to stay in garter stitch, so we need to purl this time around. And then we move on to the next section. Again, you won't have to maneuver your needles the way I'm doing right now because yours will go all the way around. Mine is just really short because I did this little sample. So you'll just be working around and around and around. You won't have to swap needles like I'm doing now. This, these two stitches are still in garter stitch. So in this round, we're purling them. And that is my tail. So I'm gonna take this out and drop it and go back to my working yarn because you definitely wanna work with your working yarn and not your tail. There we are. So I'm purling those two to keep them in garter stitch. Then I'm into my crossed slip stitch section, those two purl, drop the yarn overs, one, two, three, four, make sure they're nice and leggy. Then these four slip over to the left, these two up and over, give them a good wiggle, pop them back on the needle, and knit them proper. and then work your way over to the last crossed slip stitch section and work it opposite, leaning to the left. Let me get over there and I'll show that to you one more time. Here we go. Oh, I dropped a stitch here. This is fun. I'm going to drop that yarn over because my dropped stitch is way down here. See it? All right, I'm going to pause and grab a crochet hook and I'll show you. Actually, yeah, I'm going to grab a crochet hook and I'll show you how I fix this. All right, let me show you how I fixed this dropped stitch. So this is the stitch that I dropped. So I'm gonna come into that stitch from behind. Yep. And I'm gonna push this strand in front of it. And I'm gonna grab it and pull it through to the back. I'm gonna take my hook out put it back in from behind. Then I'm gonna grab the next strand up and pull it through. I'm 
back in from behind, grab the next strand up, and pull it through. Oh, and I just dropped another one. It's okay. This one is a knit one, so I can just reach through from the front and grab it and pull it through and put it back on the needle. So it's always a good idea to have a crochet hook in your tool bag. So there. Pearl strip, pearl stitch that got dropped. Just picked it back up. And now I'm gonna pearl it. But Sarah, you're supposed to have a yarn over here. You don't have a yarn over anymore. Well, see that bar between the stitches? If I pull on it, put it up here, yarn over. But we're gonna drop it anyway as we grab these stitches, so it's okay. All right, I've got my four. Give it a good wiggle. And then this one is gonna lean to the left, so I'm gonna grab those two stitches up and over, wiggle them to separate, put these two on the left hand, and then knit all four. One, two, three, four. Pearl the last two before the marker. Remember that these two need to stay in garter stitch, and on this round, that's purling, and then we are ready to go to the next round. Now, in your piece, you won't have this strand that's stretched across because you will have continuous work going all the way around. Um, so don't let that concern you that I have that there or that you might not have that there. You should just have one continuous loop that reaches from one point of your needle all the way around to the other point of the needle. Mine just looks like this because I'm doing such a small one on a needle that's really too long. Um, so then your next round, we wanna keep this in garter stitch, so you are going to knit these first two stitches. And you're gonna alternate back and forth between knit and purl on the first, the first two and last two there. Then we are right into this eight stitch section. This is the row, row one of the crossed slip stitch section. Then you're back into a nice big stockinette stitch section. And you just continue that way. There's six rounds that you'll repeat over and over again until you reach the right length of your cowl. And then you will go back into garter stitch so that it matches the bottom and then you are done with your knitting. You're gonna give this one a good block. Um, I had a book that was just the right width so I popped it into a plastic bag, gave this a good soak in some eucalyptus and tepid water, lifted it out of the water, gave it a good squeeze, don't twist or wring, gave it a good squeeze, slipped the book in here just to hold it open and keep a little air between the layers and I just let it dry. And it is so cute and so comfy and so cozy. See that, those little bits pop out here in the front and in the back and man, I mean, I, mean, I don't usually look forward to winter but between the cowl and the mittens, I know that I'm gonna be comfy and cozy and warm and I might just enjoy it this year. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and had fun with me and the crossed slip stitches and just how pretty they are. And I hope you use them in this project and in future projects. If you haven't yet, you can pick up a kit at onebighappy.com or at, in the description below. And uh, I can't wait to see your finished mittens and your finished cowls. So be sure to tag us in your photos on social media at One Big Happy Yarn Co. I look forward to seeing those. Happy knitting. <laughs>